Hello and welcome to my talk. My name is Alex Yeager and I'm a postdoc researcher in University College Cork and this talk presents my work on modular field generator design for electromagnetic tracking. I'll begin this talk by introducing electromagnetic tracking systems with examples from currently available systems on the market. I'll then discuss our design for scaling the tracking volume of these systems using our tiling approach. This will be followed by some experiments where I will discuss our testing approach and explain our results. Electromagnetic tracking, also known just as magnetic tracking, is a technology used to track the position of magnetic sensors in space using low frequency magnetic fields. Systems typically comprise of a magnetic field generator, a magnetic sensor, and a system control unit. The sensors experience an induced signal due to the field generator, which is measured and resolved to the sensor's position and orientation by the control unit. Magnetic sensors are tracked relative to the origin of the magnetic field generator. The origin is defined by the system designer and is typically defined in the center of the field generator. The cylindrical magnetic sensor coil shown can be tracked in five degrees of freedom, yielding the sensor's position in 3D Cartesian coordinates and the sensor's yaw and pitch angles relative to the system's origin. The sensor's roll angle is indeterminate unless a second five degree of freedom sensor is used. Magnetic tracking systems are available on the market and cater to different user needs and applications. Systems from companies such as Palamus and Amphitech manufacture systems capable of tracking large spatial volumes. That is, the sensor can be tracked at distances in excess of one meter from the origin of the field generator. Magnetic sensors for these systems are in the order of centimeters, with applications including performer animation, motion capture, and gate analysis. Tracking systems such as the Aurora and Trackstar are capable of tracking much smaller magnetic sensors in the order of millimeters in size. The Aurora sensors operate on passive magnetic induction, while the Trackstar utilizes active flux gate sensing technology. The smaller sensors and smaller tracking volume of these systems make them suitable in medical navigation applications. This is because electromagnetic tracking enables medical instruments to be tracked beyond the clinician's line of sight. This is particularly useful in endoscopic procedures, such as bronchoscopy, where deep airway navigation is performed using the limited sight of an endoscopic camera in combination with X-ray imaging. Commercial lung navigation systems, such as the Medtronic Superdimension system, aim to simplify airway navigation and reduce X-ray exposure by using electromagnetic tracking as an alternative to X-ray. The ability to customize magnetic field generators depending on patient size and application may be useful for future medical systems such as these. The work in this paper utilizes an open source electromagnetic tracking system called ANSWER EMT. The system utilizes the magnetic induction approach to sensing and is capable of tracking commercially available off-the-shelf sensors. The ANSWER EMT system architecture comprises of transmit, receive, and solving stages. For a more in-depth understanding of the system design, I encourage you to read a previous paper from our group. In this paper, the full design of ANSWER EMT is discussed and performance assessed relative to commercially available electromagnetic tracking systems. ANSWER EMT features a printed circuit board field generator comprising of eight discrete coils. The location and dimensions of each coil are precisely known relative to the center of the circuit board. A frequency domain multiplexing approach is used, where each coil transmits its own distinct frequency in the kilohertz range. Each individual coil is built up using a series of copper traces, the position and orientation of which is also known relative to the coil center. The double-sided PCB shown contains 25 copper turns. The magnetic field of a coil can then be calculated by considering the field produced by each individual copper trace and summing the results by superposition. Field propagation effects need not be considered since the magnetic fields are in the kilohertz range. Tiling of multiple field generators is then possible since the relative origins of additional field generators can easily be determined if they are placed together and share a common edge as shown. This provides a simple means of expanding the total spatial tracking volume in which a magnetic sensor can be tracked. This design allows for field generators to be tilted with respect to one another. 
In this example, the field generator A shares a common edge with field generator B. The angle alpha represents the rotation of field generator A about its z-axis, which is zero degrees in this case. The tilt of field generator B is shown as beta. Given that the dimensions of the field generators are known, and the tilt angle beta is also known, then the location of field generator B can be described by a single homogeneous transformation matrix, where R is the rotation matrix and little t is the displacement between the origins of field generator A and field generator B. Here is a diagram of the experimental setup of field generators A and B. A total of two control stations are required to power each individual field generator. Control station B is slaved to station A, which is controlled by a host computer which executes the sensor tracking software. This picture shows the actual experimental setup using the two field generators A and B. The tilt angle of field generator B, beta, is measured using a protractor centered at the fulcrum of rotation. A precision machined polycarbonate test board is used to precisely locate the magnetic sensor at known positions above field generator A. Two measurements were performed using this setup. Accuracy measurements measure how true the reported sensor position corresponds with the actual location of the sensor. Precision, also known as jitter, measures the total variation of the reported sensor positions while the sensor remains at a single location. Accuracy results were derived using the fiducial registration error, a root mean square error approach that measures how well a spatially distributed set of points aligns with an ideal set of corresponding points. In this work, a 3x3 grid of locations on the polycarbonate test board shown previously was used. The error is calculated as the RMS difference between the locations of the ideal grid and the corresponding locations as reported by the magnetic sensor following a best fit transformation, capital T. Jitter is also calculated in an RMS sense by comparing a set of 100 statically placed sensor positions with their mean value. This animation shows the results of the fiducial registration accuracy measurement for a tilt angle of 90 degrees. The reference grid locations are shown in red and reported sensor positions are shown in black. Three grid heights were used for taking these measurements. The following plots show the total fiducial registration error and jitter error for various tilt angles beta. Control measurements were performed using a single field generator A. In general, it can be seen that increasing the tilt angle reduces the total system jitter and fiducial registration error. This improvement correlates with an improvement in overall system signal to noise ratio. These plots show the received frequency spectrum of the magnetic sensor for beta equal to zero and 90 degrees respectively. An experiment was also performed to establish whether sparse placement of adjacent field generators is feasible. A known separation, D, was introduced between two adjacent field generators, A and B. A cloud of points was acquired at a fixed height above the field generators above the separation. This resulted in the magnetic sensor reporting errors which were maximized in the region of the separation as shown. Observing the z-axis only, errors in excess of 10 millimeters are observed for separations as small as 15 millimeters between the field generators. In summary, this work describes a new field generator tiling method for electromagnetic tracking. The method operates by referencing additional field generators to a common origin. We show that introducing tilt angles between adjacent field generators reduces positional and jitter error. The work allows custom tracking volumes to be built, although sparse tiling of field generators is not immediately possible with this design. Future work on this topic will include designing a PCB form factor more suited to tiling. Bandwidth preservation must also be considered, since each coil must transmit its own distinct magnetic frequency. Along with this, the computational complexity of the system also needs careful consideration, as each resulting transmitter coil results in an additional set of magnetic equations to solve. 
An optimized system modeling approach is therefore required for the proposed tiling system to ultimately become scalable. Thank you for your attention and I hope you enjoyed my talk on tile field generator design for electromagnetic tracking. You can contact me at alexander.jaeger at tyndall.ie. Thank you.